What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name's Brent and RJ's actually behind the camera for once. I think this is the first time ever. But as you guys can see, we're at what we're calling a Corvette graveyard because if you look around, there's Corvettes everywhere. Um, these Corvettes have been sitting for quite a while. I spoke to the owner. He said this one specifically has been sitting between eight to 10 years. So we're gonna say somewhere in that range. Um, and that actually brings me to the question of the video. So if you guys have seen our previous barn finds, it's always the same question. And we want you guys to try to guess what year this Corvette is. All right, so one of the hardest things about this channel is continually finding cars that you guys are interested in watching detailed. And sure enough, this Tower City Motor Cars uh, dealership, I guess you could call it, um, has been down the street from me for the last seven, eight years. And I've seen these Corvettes sitting out here and just collecting dirt and dust. And it wasn't until this last year that I was like, I should probably go and contact these guys and see if they wanted us to uh, to, to make a video out of any of these these uh, dusty, dirty Corvettes. So um, thankfully the guys here are super cool and they wanted to make sure that I told you guys that these Corvettes are all for sale. This one is not, this is actually a customer's Corvette as is that one. But I believe all four of these Corvettes are for sale. Their contact information will be in the description below uh, because these are all currently for sale. And taking a look at this beautiful Corvette, it wasn't until we pulled it out in the sun that we could really see the potential that reviving it could have, especially with the paint. And I really think you guys should watch all the way through this video because at some point, we pulled something out of this car that shows you how long it's been sitting and it was very, very scary and gross. And I also just had this animation made to remind you guys that if you're not subscribed to the channel, you should definitely do that so you don't miss our future uploads. And YouTube tells me that over 90% of you watching this right now haven't subscribed yet, so make sure you check and see if you are. Now the first order of business was to get the Corvette we were going to be working on out from behind the others and luckily this was a super rare occasion for us because before we showed up the owners of Tower Cities actually charged and replaced all the batteries and they pumped up all the tires except for the red Corvette furthest to the left because both of the rear tires completely exploded but for once all the cars we needed to move were able to move on their own instead of us having to push them. Alright guys, so that Corvette was sitting here for, actually all of them were sitting here for so long that on the hot days, the tire, the weight of the car actually melted into the asphalt and left imprints. So if you're hunting Corvettes, you can usually find them by following the tracks. And while spraying off all this initial dust, you'll see somebody tried to spray some racing stripes into the hood with these black lines right here. And obviously they did a horrible job with it, so the owner wanted us to get rid of those. And it actually made the car look a million times better, but that'll come a little bit later.
Before giving the car a really good wash, we wanted to spray our foam on it and let it sit for a little bit just to get some of that dirt off the surface of the car and let it run off. And then we continued with our process. Also, if you guys look in the background, you might notice that I finally got my dream car, the Subaru WRX I've been talking about since I was 17. And if you guys are interested in seeing a full wheels off detail on that, let's get this video to 5,000 likes and leave a comment below telling me you want to see it. Moving on to the clay barring, we didn't know exactly what we were going to do yet to get this black paint off, so we tried that first and we weren't having too much luck, so we figured we would just wait until we started actually polishing the car to deal with that. But also because the paint on this car was so dead and dried up just from sitting for so long, the sun was absolutely destroying any kind of moisture on the paint, and when you're clay barring you want to have that moisture so you don't cause friction and destroy the paint. So I just took the pressure washer with it off and I kept the car wet. That way RJ could go around the car and give it a nice clay barring without causing any more damage to the paint. Now this is where we actually started to try to figure out how to get the black paint off. And as you can see, it was working when we were using our Rupes buffer with a yellow pad. But funnily enough, the owner of the shop actually walked out when we started doing this and he offered us some adhesive remover to see if it would work on the paint better than the Rupes buffer. And as you guys will see, it sped up our process tenfold. So we're really appreciative that he did that. But I want you guys to really pay attention to how much this paint changes as we went through. And I'm going to show you guys afterwards all the pads we had to use to get to the result that we got. And that being between two different things, we didn't have an air compressor so we couldn't blow them out so we had to be switching pads really often. And the paint was just so far gone that the pad was picking up all the extra leftover dead skin and our pads were getting clogged to a point where they weren't doing anything.
Moving on to the interior, we just wanted to give it a good cleaning, but we only had about an hour left of daylight. But you'll see in a second the grossest thing either of us have ever pulled out of a car in our entire detailing careers. All right, guys, so off camera, I was <laughs> vacuuming inside uh, in between the, the seat and the center console and pulled out something that made my heart almost jump out of my chest. So I'll show you exactly how it happened, right? So I'm vacuuming and... Uh, <laughs> and I held it up, I was like... <laughs> <laughs> And there you have it, we pulled a dead mouse out of this car, and when we went to dispose of it, we noticed it was pretty much rock hard, so, I mean, I can't even give a good guess about how long it's been in there. Maybe some of you guys might know. If you have any clue, leave your answer in the comments below.